Namaste, Nicole Farrell here at Kachina Yoga, and thanks for joining me today. You might be wondering why I'm sitting here at the park, but I am at the park because I wanted to share with you a little bit about my new book, Callie's Corner, Earth Body 101, Awakening the Human Avatar by myself, Kachina Yoga. And this book is designed to awaken the inner child. So this is why I am at the park today. You know, um, we work with a, a different number of layering through our energetic responses so a little stimulation a little visualization never hurt anyone and I really do want to talk about the book today why I wrote it and why you should buy it and read it so Callie's Corner uh, this, this was a journey that I went on um, and it really helped me to understand how many triggers are actually placed within our childhood they're like seeds little seeds have been planted throughout childhood through um, many different stories, parables, fables, tales, myths, um, all kinds of different stories within our childhood. And those seeds, are uh, once watered, they begin to grow into a tree of life, okay? Or a tree of knowledge and life, both in their own respective manners. So, when I went on this journey with the goddess Kali, I, I want to talk a little bit about um, a, a journey with her because... When you hire Kali onto your team, she shows up in a mothering form, but not in the mothering form that is traditionally talked about, and that is, oh, the mother just, you know, dotes over the child in such manners. She dotes over you for sure, but it is very raw and real. And it's, uh, as she told me, it's the path of least resistance. So when Kali comes to assist, uh, you on your journey she doesn't really um, you know make it all fluffy and candy things and stuff like that it's more like raw rough and to the point it's that tough love that mothering love that you need and that is what she has uh, done for me and her watering your seeds turn them into very strong plants okay you your roots when they are nourished nourished <laughs> and nurtured by Kali are very strong roots and you become this unstoppable force that this journey is trying to help you to see. So, this book is a very easy, easy to read book, but it is not a quick read because there are uh, different assignments throughout the book that take you into a study of self. So, if you think about self, you have studied things, studying self. You have studied many things throughout life, but the one thing that they never teach you to study is self, okay? So this is actually a journey to self through self, okay? Self, getting back into self helps to reunite you with source, okay? Because getting back into self requires you to get in touch with the masculine and feminine energy in a very natural and respectful way for each other equally, not using and abusing one energy to get what you want it takes you into a connection with the higher self and the lower self okay which you need to work together you need your lower self to ground you in this reality that you're in physically manifested in but you need your higher self to guide you because your higher self is moving a lot quicker than you are even though you are connected together okay so got to learn both of those connections and then we need to understand the connection with our inner child I mean your inner child is the most precious part of your soul and your inner child is like your maiden your inner child is the creator you give children a blank piece of paper and they make a beautiful masterpiece this is what children do they either watercolor finger paint use some crayons markers anything children will create something out of nothing and that is what your journey has been and your inner child is a very real part of yourself so your inner child is if you're having any type of connection problems journeying in between that aspect of self which is always present that aspect doesn't go away then you have blockages within your heart chakra if you have a problem journeying through the masculine or feminine energy in any unnatural way like bad connections with other females or males within your life not not just lovers but mothers children um, people in different levels of uh, 
consciousness within your life if you have a hard time seeing and utilizing and interacting and flowing with those energies there's some type of blockage within the heart chakra because this is where you connect back that masculine and that feminine energy this is a very mothering energy so if you have any problems with any of the mothers in your life be they baby mamas mamas daughters sons you as you as the mother um mothering people it was in your life aunts whatever grandmothers then you uh probably have blockages within the heart chakra because this is your most abundant and mothering energy and it is the energy where mother and her inner and your inner child is birthed from okay so all of us have taken blows to the chest if you think about the heart chakra as your most abundant energy, then any time that you are attempting to raise your vibrations or raise your consciousness, getting past this area is going to be a really big deal because it's such a big, wide, vast area. The heart has its own neural um, memory. The heart works like the brain. The heart actually gets information and processes it quicker than the brain okay so the heart chakra is a very vast energy that needs to be corrected and i like to say that we've taken like blows to the chest because that is what you do when this area is, is uh hurt it's like being blasted with a shotgun if you think about um if you were trying to aim at something that you wanted to affect like stop it from coming after you or just get rid of it altogether and you weren't the best shot you could use a shotgun right because it's going to spew a big in a big range pellets that are going to hit your target the heart chakra area the most abundant the most nurturing the most loving and if not operating from a space of love probably operating from a space of fear which is what happens when a shotgun comes at your chest so you get this area without having a laser beam um target or a laser beam uh zoom or sight you can just heart chakra everybody's affected all things in life come affected when this area is out of balance so that is why i wrote the book because in order to get this area back in balance you need to reconnect with your inner child and you need to reconnect with the mothering energy that is you but also understand a healthy understanding of the masculine and feminine energy that is within you okay so this book here is the journey into self and that's what yoga is yoga is a journey into self to the self through the self it is a joinder or a yoking or a merger a marriage a union of the physical mental spiritual bodies the physical the masculine and the feminine the higher and the lower self the inner child and the adult it's a it's where everything comes together that's what yoga is it's not just doing poses that's a part of it but yoga is the whole overall journey and that's what this book is taking you to so i know in this physical reality when you incarnate into this masculine or this feminine body you think that it's because it's um gender specific that you don't have both energies but we do both have both energies one of them just is a more power generating side than the other so that's why we have to truly understand what we're working with so in this book when you're studying self you're studying energy um, in its general terms understanding it from the base foundation you're studying cycles in their general terms and understanding them from the base foundation you're son understanding um, what ancestors are from the base foundation you're understanding how the avatar operates what is the higher self what is the lower self understanding um, that you're on a journey to find and reconnect with what your original goal was when you incarnated which you forgot as a child and only your inner child has that information so it's a very fun interactive book that is intuitively designed to lead you deeper into the aspects of your mind especially the subconscious and the unconscious mind and deeper into the feminine and primordial energy that is Kali like I said when you're journeying through Kali's corner of the galaxy if you uh, are half doing it she's gonna drag you along for that other half because it will be completed that's what you asked for and when she comes on your team she comes on your team strong so I um I can't you know thank my ancestors enough for this journey because it, it really truly was a journey to self through self I, I can't 
express how how much it, it affected and changed my life and I'm just forever grateful and that's why I wrote the book because I want everyone to have that experience as well. The book goes best with the courses, with my chakra balancing courses. <clears throat> they can be find out, found um, via my website, kachinayoga.com, K-A-C-H-I-N-A-Y-O-G-A.com. The book can be found on Amazon. You can also find it on my website. The courses can be found on the website and all kinds of different education and information can be found on the website on how to awaken the human avatar. But like I said, you got to get into the inner child. You got to rescue the inner child. You got to understand all that is you and you got to understand how energy flows because until you understand how the universe inside of you flows, you are not in control of your life. Your inner child is creating, whether it's creating from a space of fear or from a space of love and nurturing from the mothering space of your heart chakra. And that depends a lot. You will see how that is. That space is clear if you honestly look at the relationships within your life. So this is what we are designed to do here. This is the journey. It's not expensive. It's a great journey. It's not meant to replace every book in your life. It's meant to nurture and water the seeds that were planted as a child. So there are intentional uh, triggers within the book to take you deeper. And understand that when you go deeper, sometimes, you know, not only do you find parts of yourself that you've forgotten or that you didn't know existed, but you get to heal from things that you don't realize that you've been holding on to since childhood. And there's a lot of, um, a lot of things that went on during childhood that need to be opened and unraveled because you are indeed a lotus that is growing from the mud, a star that has fell from the sky, or however you, a seed that has grown from the ground, however you look at it, you are indeed in the process of your journey and your growth and development. And at the end of the day, there's only one you, so you have no choice but to shine the divine in me bows in gratitude to the divine in each and every one of you. I want to help you with your journey into meditation. I want to help you with your journey into self. And I want to help you into rescuing inner child and the mothering energy within. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you and namaste.